Worst mass shooting in U.S. history. 49 people shot and killed at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. And today, some of the Pulse survivors were in Boston sharing stories of their painful recovery and calling for greater recognition of gun violence as a national health crisis. Oh, my God. People are getting shot. It was Latin night at Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, when Omar Mateen opened fire with a semi-automatic rifle. I was shot twice in, in my lower back, so I was in the hospital. We can hear the gunshots. We can hear people screaming. People calling 911, their family members, uh, people moaning, breathing hard, you know, that were shot. When it was over, 49 people were dead, 53 wounded. It's very clear the firearms are responsible for for as many deaths a year as liver disease, 33,000 deaths a year. Today, Mass General commemorated the one-year anniversary of the Pulse Massacre, hosting 27 survivors at a conference looking at gun violence as a public health issue. 20 children a day in this country end up in emergency rooms because of injuries due to, due to firearm incidents. It was the survivors' stories of loss and perseverance that struck the most powerful courts. It's just not easy. We're trying to make the best of it and show smiles on our faces and spread love. Unfortunately, something like this happened, but it put a lot of us out there to be the faces of, of, of the community and to be able to implement a change. It's been great having all of the support from other survivors and support from friends. In order to make this right, the gun shops need to ask more questions. We need to be thorough about who we're giving guns to. Now, the Pulse survivors plan to attend Boston's Pride Parade tomorrow and be home in Orlando for Monday's memorial.